Hey everyone, hey everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to 5 Minute Eats and it's Fast Food Fridays here on 5 Minute Eats which means that every Friday at 11 p.m. Central you can tune in and find a new fast food review from us and today we have got a new one from McDonald's. This is the Kit Kat Banana Split McFlurry. Put the break in summer break with the original Give Me a Break candy in a McFlurry. It has strawberry and banana flavors with Kit Kat chocolate pieces blended in creamy vanilla soft serve. And this bad boy was $4.49 for Which this size. I guess this, it's a regular, right? Yeah, it's a small size. There is only one size at our McDonald's, uh -huh. and this is pretty small. Well, I feel like they used to have smaller ones, so maybe this is maybe, regular. Yeah. The like good the thing is it feels regular. packed in there. It does, and it did seem like they might have mixed it up yeah. better than our last McFlurry that we tried. Which was the grandma one. Yes. And with this one, so basically it's a banana split Kit Kat. So you're expecting a banana in there, right? Is there a banana in there? Well, now here's the thing. Now, because I feel like we each have two completely different expectations yeah. from here because it says Kit Kat banana split McFlurry. And they really don't, the description is a little vague, I feel like. Yeah. So I thought it was going to be a banana split flavored Kit Kat mixed in. You thought it was gonna be strawberries and bananas and Kit Kats. Apparently it's regular Kit Kats and just the flavors, like a seasoning mix of yeah. strawberry banana flavors mixed in. That's a gut punch. It's weird, it's, it's a little it's weird. A, it's just like the grandma one, they're going cheap. They are Look, going cheap. Why not get like real bananas and just wait for it to ripen? Just because they wouldn't wait for it to ripen. They'd give us all green bananas and it would taste bad. Dude, come on. <laughs> Just hook us up, McDonald's. Step up your game because um, they're really falling behind. I hate to say it. They are. You know, they really don't innovate a whole lot of new no. menu products. No, they, you know? they cut corners. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your harder money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Even though. Did you, did if, you smell it, by the way? Yeah, I did. Even though they cut corners, doesn't mean I don't, you know, go there. I still, <laughs> I still go there for my, um, my favorites and stuff like that. But yeah, the smell. I feel like it has a very, very mild strawberry banana. Smell. Yeah, it does smell like something like that. Yeah, like real light, a hint. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back to our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs up over not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. So going into this, I was super excited because I thought for real, there was real bananas in there, like fresh bananas. Mm -hmm. And um, and I don't really care for the strawberry. I thought the strawberry was a weird addition, right? Mm -hmm. Love Kit Kat. I was super excited about that because I love the Oreo McFlurry. And so having something different from McDonald's is always exciting. The Kit Kat is okay. The ice cream is okay as, you know, usual. <laughs> the issue here is this weird thing they call strawberry banana. Seasoning blend? Yes, yeah, seasoning blend. And as I was eating it, I was, something was off about this. It was like, it didn't taste like banana or strawberry. Mm -hmm. It tasted weird to me, it's something that I, dislike and I was trying to figure out what it was. Then I look at the banana split strawberry seasoning. Uh, it's got cherry. Uh, it says natural flavors. Then it breaks down those natural flavors. Banana, strawberry, cherry. That's what I taste in this and I think it ruins it. I think it just doesn't work. And the reason, I think it's because it's one of those, you know, those like liquid, like syrupy kind of cherry. Like a maraschino cherry. Yeah, that's the problem because that's what I think I primarily taste in this thing. And I think it's a clash with everything else in it. There's just too much going on here. They overcomplicated something as amazing as a banana split. And for me, thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Alrighty, well for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. I am pretty disappointed in this. And I was actually thinking of of giving it a an unenthusiastic thumbs up and then saying I would just order it without the Kit Kat in it. 
because I feel like that's what was throwing off the flavors here. But then some things happened. So here's, here's my overall experience with it. I actually didn't think it was that bad at first. Yeah. And I kind of liked the strawberry banana flavor in there. And I was thinking like, man, I really wouldn't mind having just the vanilla ice cream with those flavors in yeah. it. Because I feel like the chocolate made it taste weird with those. Like it didn't go. It was not a flavor that went together, I felt like. And I was like, why does this keep tasting like something so familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Also, there are freeze dried banana pieces, which I felt like I did see. And I feel like you could taste them. Like the banana flavor was pretty good. So then whenever we saw the cherry was in there, it made me realize what this tastes like to me. And it's something that I do like, but I don't want it right now. I don't want it in summer. To me, it tastes like a cherry cordial chocolate cherry thing, like oh. the Queen Anne yeah, yeah, yeah. chocolate covered cherries that you get at Christmas time. That's the flavor of this because the cherry flavor is so prominent and then the chocolate flavor is so prominent that that's what it tastes like. But because in a banana split, they usually just put a cherry on top, right? Like, I think it killed it, right? Yeah, I agree. It just made it taste not right. And honestly, if it wasn't for the Kit Kat wafer flavor, because that is very distinctly Kit Kat, then this would just be a cherry cordial McFlurry. Like, that's the flavor of it. Really, really a disappointment. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.